All right, I got to come out and say this, okay? I don't follow every freaking second of the Lakers, but what's evident is evident. J.J. Redick is pretty public about this, as it seems, through the actions of the offense, that he's trying to get Anthony Davis an NBA MVP. He has Anthony Davis playing at an NBA MVP caliber, okay? Now, I know it's only two games into the season, but with these two games, a small sample size, I can make an assumption that J.J. Redick is trying to do just that. Given that uh, Anthony Davis just played 76 games last season, I think he's trying to match that, if not get close to it this year, which would give him a very huge upper hand on winning the NBA MVP, especially if they keep winning. Um, second of all, man, uh, we got the Lakers versus the Suns, full game highlights. Uh, the, this game started off belt to ass. Okay, Phoenix Suns couldn't miss. But law of average is always way out, especially when you play good defense and you stay true to the game and you move the ball and you have good offense. Sooner or later, law of averages tend to weigh out. Shout out A. Milley. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and watch this game and talk about the game as it happens. Let's get straight into it. Devin Booker into a pull-up, maybe before he was ready. Reeves throws it away. Here is Beal. Lakers only turned it over seven times in their opener. Durant connects on it. Now, I saw someone on Twitter say LeBron James had that is a beautiful play. Oh, my gosh, the action. Someone said LeBron James has been playing terrible. I was like, uh, he had 21, 8, and 4 tonight. Um, on feet, 3% from the field, 40% from three. Uh, had the highest plus or minus um, on the floor. Now, I, I, I verbatim said, I know stats on everything, but when you watch the game and see how the game flows with and without him on the floor, it's kind of hard to say he's been playing terrible. It's only been two games, and he kind of been pretty efficient. <laughs> People just say things to say things. Like, they'll see the first two quarters and say, oh, yeah, Bron's playing terrible. But then, like, the longevity of the game plays out, and then you look at the stat sheet and say, wait a minute, he did that? He did what? He was plus or minus this? What? How? Huh? Yeah. Phenomenal, Anthony Davis. By the way, like I said, man, I want to focus on him for the, for, for for right now. Um, he's playing at a level that allows LeBron James to officially take the back seat, and I think that's going to be very beneficial for the Los Angeles Lakers here because you have Rui Hachimura, who I think the average is sixteen and six off the bench right now. No, my bad, off the bench. I'm speaking. Who's averaging sixteen and six right now in the starting lineup? Uh, JJ Redick has. I think he's just a, he he just asserted like a new aura. Here's Durant. Just, it's like a new sense of energy is in that locker room. Guys are playing better than they have before. Like the role guys. These are the top two active scoring leaders in the league. So of course we've witnessed On the boards, active. But as KD heads into his 17th season and LeBron in his 22nd, KD hey. said his reverence for how LeBron... Out there with Hachimura, Davis, Reeves, and Russell as the Lakers turn it over. I really do love the addition, though. Here's Morris. Morris, Tyus Jones, Euro 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 team. Plumbly. Know how really love that addition. So this is again Austin this Reeves is the transition really good too, for both man. of them more seamless. Chris Austin Reeves has been balling. Today, Austin Reeves was, if not just as important as Anthony Davis. Defensively and offensively. Absolutely. They were five from 30 in their opener. Duran extra feed. Good movement here from Phoenix. That three goes down. You're going to have to hit movements. threes against. The, the Phoenix Suns are just going to generate Russell too many three-point shots and attempts. That they're going to be able to finish as Anthony Davis gets an Last easy move. Last two games. Dunn, the rookie God, he, game he just hasn't Phoenix. been consistent. Like I say, it's still a small Booker sample size. But... If these if these two games are are any Booker, ooh, way good push cross boy, huh. but if, if, if these two games are are any like or shadowing how the season's gonna go, it's not a good look for D'Lo, man. In this first quarter, here's Beal rising up and draining a three. Phoenix is at five straight threes, two for one opportunity here for the Suns. Lazy pass from Nurkic, knocked away by Vincent. James through the lane, cups it in. Hayes out to meet him. Beal motors around. O'Neal wide open, connects. Now, Beal's now this is lane. a defensive breakdown, right? Cups so look, here's in. here's the rotation. He drives baseline. Braun has Hayes. to take that, right? D'Lo should be trying to take away. Well, I mean, really it should be Christie, but D'Lo's low host, so D'Lo should be trying to take away Nurkic right here, the drop off. And then Christie should be dropping all the way down to the midline right here. 
That way he's playing middle field between these guys, forcing the far skip, which will probably be the zero. Um, because then uh, Royce would then become um, Gabe Vincent's responsibility, right? So let's let it play out. He's out to so if 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 Max drops down, D'Lo, D'Lo's trying to play center field. He, 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 he's trying to duck and play dumb to get the steal. I, I've done it my whole career. I know exactly what he's doing. But if D'Lo gambles here, right, it can go bad. I mean, it kind of did go bad. But D'Lo's supposed to take the role guy here if LeBron helps all the way, which LeBron kind of just doesn't help. He's supposed to cut the baseline off. That would have been a charge opportunity. Now D'Lo's playing corner guy here. This guy's wide open. Huh. Christie's a little late, which causes a scramble opportunity. And we're out of place. Yep. Just like that. Just like that. Ryan Dunn, two for two from deep. Beal shovels. Drop. Plumley reverses. Ladled into an easy bucket. That was a rare unassisted field goal for Phoenix. Here's Hachimura. Mm. He's got it on right. the first round by Minnesota. Just the third One thing Dilo does do is, is, is pass the ball great, though. Franchise history. Beal on another three. Likes to be challenged. Those are shots you got to live with. you down 20. And you still walked him down. Those are shots you got to live and with. He is a fantastic shooter. Got to live with that. Done. How about Ryan Test Dunn three. now? Phoenix is 11 for 15 from three in this first half. Good with some of our guys. If, if we and lose then, off contested three-pointers and contested middies, that loss is on us. No if we lose on You've open shots, lane penetration, and all that, that's on you guys. That's effort. As Durant hits the five to shoot. Durant looking to move Davis. Durant fading and hit it. Awesome story, Angel, and terrific shoes for oh, oh, no, Devin Booker. The, they are gorgeous. Look, look, the book ones are, are some of the best first edition of a signature shoe I see you're going and making that contact they're not going to just call a defensive foul anymore mm. Reeves bounces and Davis slams you don't want to go in there with an eight point lead you want to go in there 15 16 and the same for the Lakers you want to keep this in a manageable space and Kevin Durant, Durant pocket pass Plumley on the run gets it off to O'Neal Reeves on a steal goes behind the pack and serves it in. What a move. From the Suns and the Kings. Here's Durant. Usually Durant don't do curls well and lays it in just by, uh, holding field. leads. We, we always give up leads. Short. Both of our teams do. James. Weird. James bounces. Reeves lines it up. And hits from three. That was a huge shot to the half, Rebound, by the way. So he Smacked him in the mouth. Showing a crowd, first three minutes of the game. Yeah, I mean, anytime. first three minutes of the half. Ron had four points at halftime, by the way. The Ended with 21, 17-point half. Here's James. We'll like, unacceptable. Again. No effort on the defensive game. He's letting him walk into threes there. Jamora gets denied by Durant. Booker able to grab. Reeves went for the steal. Numbers uh, for Phoenix. Durant slinking inside. Arms you want to foul around the rim. If Plumlee catches that ball, you just have to wrap him up immediately yeah. and make him shoot two free throws. Davis aggressive again tonight. Shot clock at five. Jones so tough, off the nice. window and in. Tips, deflections, blocks. This man gets more tips than the feds. James. Nurkic, big pop. Crowd wanted to travel, did not get it. Lakers do get the stop. Here's James behind the back. Vincent in the corner. Yeah, Gabe. Yeah, Gabe. <laughs> We're in the California rep, baby. You miss us, Jonathan. We know you do. I, I'm, I'm going to be really honest. I... He was doing it so well, mainly because he understood the game and prep, and he's going to bring that same approach to coaching. You've already seen it. Hey! Murrow rocks the rim. Hayes the rebound. Lakers looking to push. Reeves step back three is good. The evolution of Austin Reeves has to be studied. Like, like, it has to be studied. Bro went from fringe role guy to starter, to like one of the premier guys in L.A., which a lot of people say it's hard to succeed being a Laker. Beg to differ. Shot clock at five. Put the work in. Hachimura. Keep your head down. You work. You five know what I'm saying? Days. Opportunity to You feel me? Comes Jones to the That's Austin Reeves. Booker, side stepping three is short. Rebound carries out to Booker. Jones can't, can't will happen. try it. Second chance points. Into the killers. paint, lost it, kicks it. 
Player. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's late over here. This is the play I knew. I said, dang, D'Lo might be out of it. He, he might be checked out a little mentally right here. Because he's wide open on the three. And he passes to Jackson Hayes. Why in the world would you pass up an open three to pass to a non-shooter? That that showed me that he's kind of, he might be overthinking. Like, oh, damn, I'm missing. Let me go past that to Jackson Hayes. Jackson literally said, bro, what the hell you doing? Shoot that bit. And he shot, he shoots and he makes it. But it's like, when I saw that, I was I was so confused. Like, why would you pass to a non-shooter in the corner? Weird. And he's not really like a catch and drive guy either. Nearly another old board, but Phoenix able to fingertip control. Here's Durant up on plus the foul. To go deep into the playoffs, and Davis has been great in the first two. James off the steal. Davis to the guards. Point guards. Aspiring point guards. Why is it such a lovely play? So not not because it's a four on one, right? And not because of the unselfish pass. That's part of it. But it's an unselfish pass. Rewarding who running down the uh, floor? You're big. You always, at any opportunity you can, I so I'm blue in the face, I will always say this. You want to reward your bigs when they run down the floor every time. They just naturally play harder because of that. If they're like, oh, I know I'm going to run the floor and my, and my guard going to find me. So I'm going to play harder on both ends of the floor. James. Booker switched on him. Four to shoot. Oh, what a look. James. How do you see that? James? You got someone in front of you. Arms out. You got Bill. Tapping pink because he can't sit. You got. Oh, he read. Did, did he read? Did he read Kevin Durant? Hot, cause who's who's on Hachimura? Is that Royce O'Neal? Once he sees Kevin Durant's head turn, he zips it right behind his head. But Bill sees it though. But Bill seeing him dissect the all, the the defense. But like once KD head turns, James, that's a crazy read. As soon as KD head turns, balls out. Four to shoot. Oh my gosh, oh, that's phenomenal. I don't know if that's the read because what what is Royce O'Neal looking at if he's sitting on the low side? That's that's interesting. Booker rims in a three, creeping down six to shoot. Looking to take Beal. James dishes Hachimura. You bet. Good luck. In 2020, when they won in his years in New Orleans, well, JJ said the number one thing was his aggression in Game One, and we've seen it again. Peace in the second quarter really helped turn this game after the Lakers have been down 22. Beal's three is good. They're down 22? But that will do. Another head-to-head -head matchup. Between Braun and KD, there was over like 60,000 points on the floor between them two in history, like over their career. That's so many baskets, bro. Uh, appreciate you guys for tapping in. Let me know if you guys want me to continue to do these breakdowns and these reactions. You guys, you guys seem to love them, so you know what I mean? You guys love them. You guys keep liking them, sharing them, doing all that good stuff. The more I'll watch and react, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, sayonara.